Welcome back. In a tragic incident, Surya Kant Honawarkar, the signal man of Ultramarine Company, died as he got crushed under the crane grab. The incident happened when the barge was unloading ore into the ship of Prem Aparna at Panji port. Surya Kant's body was later sent to the GMC. 46 years old Surya Kant Honawarkar, a resident of Sada Vasco who was staying near Lakshmi Narayan temple, died a tragic death on Thursday night at Panji port. He was working as the signal man for Ultramarine Company. He was on duty of Ultramarine on Thursday night. When the ore was being shifted from barge to ship, the rope of the crane grab got cut and the grab fell on Suryakant. He was immediately shifted to GMC, but he had breathed his last by then. Suryakant Hunavarkar is survived by his wife and two sons. Kalangut police are investigating the case. A reporter from Vasco Surendra Madkaikar. And now news from sports. Rhea Salmond enjoyed great success in 2011. The Mopsa-based youngster won gold medals at the international level to herald her talent. Rhea is now one of the more famous names in Go and Chess. Rhea is backed by Geno Pharmaceuticals and recently won the Geno Sports Award for Best Talented Player. Ria capped a brilliant year 2011 with a gold medal recently in Singapore. The 11-year-old was honoured with the Best Talented Player Award at the Geno Sports Award recently. Prudent caught up with Ria and her father Dharmanan, who travels with Ria for tournaments. Dharmanan summed up Ria's year. She participated in Asian Youth at Philippines uh, and she got 4th place there. Then uh, she got a bronze medal at Commonwealth Chess Championship at South Africa. Then 5th uh, place at uh, World School Championship at Poland in uh, April and uh, national she won a gold medal this year at Ahmedabad in under 11 girls section and, uh, and uh, two days before she got a gold in uh, Singapore in under 11 international youth championship. Dharmanath also revealed this year's schedule for Ria. So we are going to Pasvanath now for 18 tournaments open uh, international uh, grandmasters open. And uh, another, maybe in this year, four to five rating tournaments she will play. And uh, she has to play compulsory in some, uh, some nationals also, under 13, under 15, sub-junior nationals. And uh, Asian is in Sri Lanka, and World Youth Championship is in Slovenia in November. There we will be playing. We have so many tournaments that you have participated in, and all the tournaments that you are going to participate in in the future. Aren't you missing school? Um, yeah, I am missing school. And your friends? Yeah, I do. Enjoying winning. Yeah. Gold medals and national. A sports reporter, Nikhil Pereira, with video journalist Devendra Gaunkar from Panji. Cesar Football Academy boss Clifford Chikuwama was disappointed after his side failed to score from the numerous chances in the 1 0 shock defeat to Goa Velia Sports Club on Thursday. The relegation league of the Kingfisher Pro League is turning out to be a close contest at just three points separate top place Cesar from bottom place Kalangut. This goal came in the early moments of the match and it was goalkeeper's mistake that let in the ball. It proved the match winner for Goa Vella. Cesar technical director Clifford Chukuama was disappointed. Uh, yo, uh, as you can see, yeah, I wouldn't say something went wrong. I think we just gave them the match because you saw the goal they scored. And that was the only ball that came to our goalkeeper. We had every opportunity of winning the match earlier. So many chances were created, but uh, we could not put it behind the goalkeeper, that's all. There are some of the easy chances that Cesar Football Academy missed. Goa Vella coach Lino Pereira was pleased with the efforts from his boys. We wanted a, needed a victory. It might be any half. No doubt they played a very good match. We were under a lot of pressure. But our defence and the goalkeeper was outstanding today. Yeah. Uh, this is the last uh, uh, match for you. 
No, there's one more, one more match one more left match. for us against Marga. This was, I think, a crucial match. Yes. A reporter from Vasco, Surendra Madkaikar. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.